Radical. 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 Welcome to another Show Off Saturdays. And boy, do I got something to show off. A couple uh, weeks ago, hell, actually closer to maybe a month, I told you all that I ordered this, this beauty, online. And it's very hard to find, the Soundstream Tarantula Amplifier. I ordered this for about maybe, I think, 260 there once upon a time these were going for about maybe two fifteen two twenty if you got lucky, but the price went up. Uh, actually, I got a great deal compared to what some people are trying to scalp this motherfucker for on eBay. Five six, I saw one of these for seven hundred bucks. Now you might wonder why is this particular amp so sought after? Well, comes down to gimmicks really. Look at this. See that logo? Actually, I'm going to wait and explain that to you when I get this sucker out, okay? Now, I don't want this thing to go past over maybe 10 minutes. Oh, believe me, I could spend about half an hour talking about this beauty right here. I'm a big car audio guy. But we're going to go over what's on the box, and I'm going to show you this amplifier and all the stuff it comes with. Typical unboxing type video. Okay, this is the Soundstream Tarantula Electro Series Amplifier. Max power, 4,000 watts? Uh, no. <laughs> Actually, no, okay? Most of the time, almost every single time when you see these boxes, they overrate an amplifier, okay? This thing does not do 4,000 watts. It's about half of that. Usually, it's about half or less to what they actually say on the box, all right? Still does. I've seen this thing dynoed uh, at 1 ohm, I think, about 2,000. So, still pretty freaking powerful for, you know, what you pay. It's got RGB LED accent lighting, and you see it lights up there. Now, I don't know if this lights up in three different colors, because it says there's a ton of color combinations. See here it says, uh, I forget where it said that, but trust me on this, it said you can actually do different kind of color combinations. Uh, when I get this all hooked up in the car, which will be probably a while, when I get all this hooked up, we will see. All right, so here we go. Ah, uh, it comes with a base knob. Is that a base knob here? Yeah, comes with a base knob. I'm not really going to get into this right here, so everybody can just kind of take a look at what we got in there. Okay. Ooh, there it is. Okay, this is. It's always difficult to do these things one-handed, but I'll try my best without damaging the merchandise. It's got some heft to it, you know. Oh, shit. <clears throat> See, a lot of times that I, I throw these things around I, when I'm doing these, but this, I really want to be gentle with this right here. And that's the, uh, well, it looks like a phone cable. Typically, it looks like, you know, dial-up phone cable, which is what you use for the base control knob. Looks like a pretty long wire there, so that should easily fit from the back of my Impala to the front near the radio. Probably going to put it, you know, right near the radio, okay? Looks like brushed aluminum. Very nice. Very nice. And, damn it, it's blurring. I hate this shit. Sometimes it just, yeah, that kind of fixes it a little bit. Man, that is nice. I really love that. I love that, but right? it's so nice.